the worst experiences for me was out in public. I parked my back wheel in my wheelchair on a person's foot. Um, I've hit people in Japan once. I almost broke a girl's ankle. It was horrible. I didn't want to go outside. I was afraid to. There are a couple of fundamental issues with the way wheelchairs are designed. Power wheelchairs can be incredibly bulky and just very difficult to maneuver. Just being able to see the floor directly behind you is really challenging. And so you can imagine when you have additional upper body mobility or dexterity issues, it becomes even more difficult. The very first time I went into the home of a power wheelchair user, it was actually quite shocking to see the amount of damage. We saw baseboards ripped up. We saw dents on the wall, you know, paint gone. An electric wheelchair with nobody in it, average weight, 350 pounds. I mean, that's not a wheelchair, that's a wrecking machine. You're shy to be in a crowd of people. You don't go into stores that don't have adequate space. So you restrict your access just because of the vulnerability of the things around you. Mobility is a fundamental human right. There is tons of research evidence out there as well that backs up the positive impacts of mobility on quality of life, on um, feelings of well-being. We drive cars today that have rear view mirrors and side view mirrors and, and blind spot sensors. So why shouldn't a wheelchair user have access to the same technology that everyone else does? Our blind spot sensors can be added to any wheelchair and automatically transform it into a smart wheelchair that detects obstacles and provides alerts to the user through intuitive lights, sounds, and vibrations. It's like having eyes in the back of your head. This technology is a game changer. You're not apologizing, you're not paying for broken objects. You're not afraid of going somewhere because you might destroy something. As a first time entrepreneur, it can be really challenging to establish yourself and, and to really get visibility. And so AgeWell was really critical in not only providing financial support, but also in offering mentorship, connections, as well as visibility through their events and, and workshops. Through all of these different resources, we were able to be very cost efficient early on and actually get to market much faster than we otherwise would have. My wife and my children were always nervous when I'm traveling. Now they don't even think about my chair. So it's given them the opportunity to relax and not always be on the lookout to make sure dad's not going to destroy something. This technology can also enhance the lives of individuals who live in long-term care settings by widening access to power mobility, which is just going to lead to improved outcomes in terms of quality of life. I think we finally have something that's really going to bring about change. <laughs>